Let's do a gorilla. 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 All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw ourselves a gorilla. So let's start out with some little gesture here. And then... And the gesture of this guy, make that arm kind of turn in, I guess. And then the chest is going to be over here. Get into the pelvis. And we got, let's get that in made. So we got it here like so. <clears throat> And so when we're drawing our gorilla, let's get that wrist. Um, when we're drawing your gorilla, the shapes that go into gorilla construction are very similar to human construction. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to see that egg shape, but we're going to push out fairly wide, so it's going to kind of have a slope to it, just in terms of that rib cage shape. And nice and big and wide on the end, so we're going to get a little bit of a slope to the rib cage if we're looking at it from the side. Straight back. You'll see this kind of shape, it's going to be round. So it's, it's almost an egg, but it's just kind of it's more narrow here and a little bit wider down on the bottom. So I guess it could be an egg, I don't know either. I don't know about eggs. But there must be some sort of shape, maybe a space capsule or something, as it goes through its landings. If you imagine the parachutes would deploy over here, this is the rib cage, so we can think of a capsule. Um, just keep the back straight. The back is really straight for these guys, and then the pelvis still fits in a box. So the pelvis is still a square. But it's real wide. So we're going to be able to see the scat, or the, the scat, the, the, um, the sacrum is going to come down like so. And then we're going to see this real wide and very high ilium. It's going to push way out. Real flat, though. I mean, it just, whereas ours is, it almost curves around. This is fairly flat, so we'll be able to see this come down. When we get into the pubis, which is going to be right into here, Ischia is going to come out for a while. So real wide, and then we'll be able to see the lumbar and right in through there. So much wider than a human pelvis. And the pelvis still has a little bit of a box like shape to it. It's more like a platter almost, if you will. It still has that still has a square to it, it still has that kind of a shape, but humans a little bit more curve. You can see the crest. Then we can move down. So it's a little bit shorter. Back room that's going to be here, and then we can get to the, to the lumbar. So, not to scale, this might be a little bit big, um, but big and wide on this. And so, then when we're seeing the pelvis, remember that the pelvis is going to seat in here, so we can still add that box shape, but it's going to be flat, so it's almost like a disc. At the risk of saying that, because now. I, don't, I don't really want you guys to think about putting in the pelvis as like a pizza box, but it is kind of flat. But we still have all of this business which is down here, and so that's going to give us that box-like shape. We have to come down get into the pubis, sick room is going to be out over here. So we're going to think about having the pelvis turn a little bit so we can have this shape that's in here. Move this guy back. 
really have the body coming from here. You'll be able to see the femur. The femur is going to come out. And so now we can get into, we've got this big butt. Gorillas have big butts. Okay, gorillas are magnificent animals. And so it feels weird really kind of seeing gorillas have big butts, but they, they do. Um, just because that pelvis is so wide, and it's, it's to give their back support. By the way, the rib cage, not far away. It's only about a, it's only eh, a little bit more than like a two finger distance, or sometimes it's even as much of a thumb distance. It's not far away, whereas humans is a full fist distance. So let's bring this foot down. You want to keep this guy loose. All of your drawings, keep them loose. That thumb is going to come out and off. I'm starting to put a little twitch detail in just this just the joint, but let's keep going. So, big pelvis, that nice and wide. Then that way, we'll know where the other leg is going to attach. So, we can drop down into right here. And we might get tucked back behind the arm. I think that's going to be okay. But we're going to get those cylinders in there. If we're moving through. And then let's add in that rib cage. The rib cage is going to sit right there. And then we're going to be able to see this the scapula. It's going to be pushing forward. So we get into the humerus, which is going to be right through here. They do have clavicles. Okay, apes have clavicles. And the brain will be able to see that turning shape. I'm not going to put in the ribs because, again, we're just trying to get through the construction of this. Okay. Um, now, let's get that shoulder in there. So we're going to just see that shoulder what? Way up because the scapula is pushing forward. And so we're going to see these big high shoulders due to their presence of the scapula. Okay, so now we can come around and Let's get that cylinder in there. Big um, triceps. And then we're going to move across. We're going to see the, the brachyradialis. It's going to move forward. We're going to get down into the wrist. Big wrist on these guys. I've got a lot of lines in here. I'm talking and drawing. That's like the worst thing you can do. And now we can get down to the knuckles. Show that. I think that's going to happen either. Okay. Yeah, the shoulder, not as much tension is on there. It's, it's come off the ground slightly. So let's get that arm to be in here. Let's still rest with the hand on here. Okay. So let's get that, that, the rest of the arm in here. We can show that compression. We can come down and get into the wrist, which is going to be here. That might tuck back behind it. Okay. Um, making sure that things are cylinder, cylindrical. And then let's go back. And we're going to make sure we have to add the other leg. There it is. So always come from off behind when you're drawing into the leg, and that way it won't look like it's stuck on the side. Okay. Now the other thing about gorilla legs is they are the manicotti again. Okay, so then if we have the side of the pelvis, which we're going to add here, that leg, if you imagine, has been cut out. And then we're going to see that roundness that's coming up. So still trying to be round, but now very round as it moves into here so we can get into that that cylinder shape. And what that looks like is a manicotti. Okay? So yet again, we're going to have a manicotti shape for the leg. Okay? If you don't remember, if you don't know what I'm talking about with manicotti, you'll have to find that other lecture, the figure drawing lecture, but we are going to get into a shape where it feels like the leg has been cut at a diagonal 
and then added on here's the finger added on <coughs> to the pelvis Boop. okay so manicotti shape so that means that we're going to have a round mass here but this has a slight flattening and it's going to push out from the bottom okay this is the gluteus right there the gluteus maximus and so then we can get down to the lower right here okay I'm just adding some <coughs> adding some anatomical details. Okay, let's get into that head. So there's a square that's in there, which is cool. And then we can come up and if it's a male silverback which is the same thing if it's a seal, silverback you can see this this high point on the head and those back here are the withers that's the withers um, like a horse or anything else they have really really strong necks and it really helps to ha um, balance all the weight that's going onto their shoulders and stuff they have those big withers there okay and then to the brow nice big square shape Nose, and then we go into the mouth. And then we can move. We can move around. Up. And then so we can actually see the brow. It's going to push out and then big round shape. Sometimes, I think in this case, the shoulder's going to tuck back behind our girl's head. Okay, so we can get into these shapes. If I uh, change colors here, now we can start to get in some details. So, again, nice and straight off the back. Okay. Um, you're going to see a lot of hair on this guy. Let's come around and be able to see the chin, which is going to be in here. This is all muscle. So gorilla eat roots and branches and leaves and that kind of stuff. They have these big canines to allow them to peel the bark off the roots and eat the roots and that sort of stuff. Big zygomatic getting into the jaw and allow them to continue to eat that stuff. Um, and then you'll really see that brow is going to hang kind of low so you can actually see just building off this guy you can get into the eye. And the eye. You're going to see the top part of the cranium. That's the costal region of the cranium. Then we're getting into those withers, which are actually going to push things out. You can see some fur on that guy. Okay. Ear is going to be right at the jaw line. They're little. They're little. And depending on the mountain gorilla or the lowland gorilla, there's two, two subspecies of gorilla. You'll be able to see one is very hairy, so the mountain gorillas are really, really hairy, and the lowland gorilla is not as hairy. Okay. Okay. Pectoralis mass. Let's get into that shoulder, which is here. There's the triceps. So because this is a curve, let's put it straight in here. And we're gonna push out. Push out with that carpal radialis get into the shoulder might see some hair that's over here and then some shag as that goes down so now let's get into that paw and then we can get down into his abdominus draw through your forearms and his arm just a little long I think and shoulder Let's push this 
back up and get into that leg. There's that manicotti. Knee is going to be right into here. And then we're almost home. Oh, we're not. we got to put in the, the belly in the other leg. Just getting ahead of myself. Uh, this should be dropping back a little bit. I'll get into that thumb, which is back there. Into the foot. Let's get back over here and finish this guy up. There we go. So we're going to the foot. Back so you can see it. just a lot of overlap that's happening in here. We'll probably see some overlap in the arm as this goes down. Okay, so there's this big kind of collar shape that's up here that's going to sit up at the top. This is the trapezius, and then you get into the into those where there's those in the above. Okay, um, make sure it's nice and round and that sort of thing. Okay, big round. This is coming toward us, and then. Is that so under shape as it looks good. Okay, so there's our gorilla. Let's have a look at some awesome students who are doing the gorilla. We'll just do see if they're uh, we're going to do a little draw over and see how they're doing. Okay, turn that guy off and let's um, have a look at here. Okay, so. This is a student who I didn't ask permission to um, share their work, so they'll remain anonymous. Um, let me change the color so you can see where we're going. This, these drawings are very successful so far. This is really nice, as is this one, okay? And this one too. A lot of nice attention to detail. Look how wide that rib cage is. Um, having some issues with the pelvis on this one. Okay, look how small that pelvis is. It doesn't eat anything. What we're seeing is we're going to see that pelvis is going to come way back here. So let's make sure that we're getting that whole, whole form in there. Yeah, we can add in the gluteus maximus, but this is what's making that pelvis in there. This is just floating. It's not really a very useful tool, so we have to find a way to make those work. I think some of these other ones are making the pelvis work here. This is getting a little out of proportion. But we can... Another thing we can do is we can draw, just have an understanding of where the back of the, the back of the pelvis is, and then drop down. Understand we got this sheet that's back there, and it can get into the caboose and the buttock. You can see that sacrum, and then big round mass that's going to come off on here. Okay, um, so it just uh, just feels a little like this shape isn't working for this, this artist, okay? But I'm sure that once that artist gets that under control, it'll look a lot better. Maybe we just need to be in a diagonal. Maybe that shape needs to be in a diagonal. But see how the leg is attaching? It just doesn't feel like there's a solid attachment point here, okay? So this bump right there, that's hard mass. So let's get the, the pelvis to to exist in that shape, okay? However you want to handle this side, we can't see very much of it as long as we know that the abdominus is going to come from the pubis here, okay? So now we can have that femur come in, we can move out over here, nice torque in the foot, but now, look at this, this is all gluteus maximus, so we're going to move around, but we, at least we now know where that leg is going to come from. So we can get this curve into a straight, and we can get this curve into a straight. Make these guys nice and thick. So I think that's the biggest issue. This is really cool, but I think we want to bring this up. What's making this bump right there? Okay, let's get these guys up. We'll get that sacral triangle that's going to happen in there. And then there's that manicotti. It's going to move around so we can see that manicotti. And then boop. And then this is getting a little small, so let's let's make sure that we're not getting too short. But other than that, this artist is doing an excellent job, really good job. Okay, I might want to push those shoulders out a little tiny bit and get those. Find the scapula, understand where those guys live, 
and so I think we're going to see a little bit more of the shoulder there. Looks as much torso is going to come back and so forth. Okay, great. That construction in the head is really looking good. This part here is a little weird, so make sure that we're getting into the cranium and then blap like that. So you can just add on a gumdrop or something for the top of his head. Okay, looking really good. This is, yeah, again, nice drawing. This is a nice drawing. That's a real nice drawing. Okay. Some of the legs, I think, are getting a little short. That foot feels a little weird, too, but um, I think overall we're really getting it. So I, I have no um, qualms about where this student is going. I think that's cool. Okay. All right. Let's go on to another one. And this student is participating in gorilla drawing as well, because gorillas are cool. Um, I think, yeah, we just need to address that pelvis a little bit. And it's like, where, what am I looking at? You know, so I think if we understand or find an object that works, like if you want to use that circle shape, then that's fine. Just understand it's going to push up and there's going to be a straightness to it. We're just going to add add that straight to the back. So let's let's put in let's put in that circular shape. Now, and whenever I'm drawing from the back, I like to use a box, but we can also use that circular shape, which is going to be in here like this. And let's put in that sacral triangle, and then bang, we're right into the leg. You can see that manicotti is going to be in here. Cylinder shape is going to go forward. You can actually see that if you know having that circle in there, that, that might help. You know, we're having some structure issues, so let's you know, we can try that circle. Um, let's get this leg in here. The feet are hard because there's not a whole lot of pictures of where those feet are, and then they have that little toe they, or that thumb that comes off in there. So um, that's totally understandable. I'm not quite sure what's happening with this leg here. So let's bring this. Uh, I'm gonna make you drop this guy back. There we go. And we can get it into the foot as it goes. Okay, I see what's going on. So we're rolling up over the foot. This is the heel. Um. So I would ask this artist to keep that back a little bit more straight. Yeah, we can see the latissimus dorsi, and that's pretty awesome. But we're still gonna see this volume, massive volume coming around and inserting into the pelvis. So we're probably going to see a, just this this wall right there. And then don't forget that, you know, there's that rib cage that's really wide. So I think I think we're just forgetting that there's stuff being added to this. I think that's what's going on here. This is a little short. Very pronounced. Um, Sacrospinalis and the um, erector spinning. Now we can get into the shoulder. And like really push that shoulder out. You know, I think that's cool. And I think we've done a nice job. Just getting in the hands. Or just getting in that the gesture it feels really good. Put it over here like that. You can see that if we attach this, we have these lines in here. So let's erase this just so we can see it. But if we put that Vitismus dorsi in there, it really feels like it's getting anchored or attached in there. Even though we have that deltoid shape, which is going to be in here, it's moving away from us. And then we can get into that arm, which is going to still continue moving. And then it's going to be out this shoulder. Up, and we can get into the head. So maybe just a little short in the rib cage. Okay. Maybe this arm needs to be longer. On my part. This is a fun drawing. I really like this one of all of them. I like this drawing a lot. There's so much attitude in here and stuff. We might want to push it just a little bit more so we can really rotate around, like show some compression in there, be able to get that pelvis that's out over here. And then, you know, this like get into you understand where those feet are. And then maybe, to move around, we can say, okay, that rib cage is going to be in here, real fun. 
and there's that pelvis that's sitting there, so maybe this needs to be pulled out, but then, you know, off, maybe that knee is going to come out even further. And then, now we have, you know, it actually feels like there's some weight, and it's, he's using his, his leg as a ballast. And then you can get down into the foot, I'm not quite sure what's happening, but you can get down into the foot. And then, nice big shoulder, push around with the triceps. And we can get into the into the paw. Yeah, that comes down a little bit lower. But the gesture on that is really cool. I think this is neat. This leg that's here, I think that's a really fun little answer. I'm not quite sure what the foot is. But like off saddle type of Try this. You know, sit at home and then sit this way and you'll see that one of the legs goes out a little bit. And I think that would be really neat to see. Really fun little touch. So it's nice that this person put in the time that kind of touch again. Okay? Overall, looking good. You know, this is a nice drawing. I think it's just a little on the stiff side, but I think that stiffness is coming from drawing an animal that's new for the first time. Okay? And the more that this artist draws their animal, the more comfortable they're going to become with drawing those volumes and that kind of stuff. Okay? Looking good. These are great. Okay? I hope this helps. I will see you in the next video.